Hey there, Tim and Ariel Toolman back at you. So I'm coming to you today with the, uh, on my lunch hour and my work. And I wanted to show you the new Tough Built 5-in-1. And before I get into that, if you can mind, go down there, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you get notified when I post a new video or go live. And uh, I'll get into the, the particulars of this new knife from, from Tough Built. So Tough Built just came out with this 5-in-1 uh, they're calling it an electrician's tool and this one here is kind of like a comparison to the Milwaukee Fastback. Uh, there's some some differences, uh, some similarities and I'll kind of run through that to it. So the Milwaukee Fastback has the flip out blade which a lot of people like and the, the tough built blade does the same thing and you can put it up and flip back out like that and so that's kind of nice and then the Milwaukee Fastback I have not been able to really do this uh, with my hands and stuff like that you kind of need two hands sometimes uh, even to uh, unlock it up and then try to fold it back up uh, that's one difference with the the new uh, knife from from Tough Built you can actually flip the uh, screwdriver in and out, which is pretty nice. So it actually locks in place and it's got a little button instead of a little little thing you have to kind of push like this one here. You have to kind of push it uh, to get it to fold up and then use two hands. Uh, both have belt clips. Uh, this one's got the real rugged belt clip as normal as uh, that. And then... Uh, where the knife so you can use a regular blade on this and put it in flip it around it also has a wire stripper right here and These are all like torque screws. So yeah, I guess if you had to take it apart You really could uh, the one main difference that I noticed um, on the uh, mil from the Milwaukee to the other one you do have a space for a extra blade in here but it's very difficult to get out of the Milwaukee Fastback whereas the the uh, tough built knife you can actually carry two blades and then they kind of there's a, a magnet in the bottom of this little tray right here and it's easier to get out so uh, blade changes on the tough built one are actually a lot easier now um, the and then the other main tool on this one is the it's got a little built-in pry bar. So you actually push this in, this little button right here, you push this in, and you can use this to open up paint cans. It locks in place, so it's not uh, moving around. It locks in place, and then you push it in and pop it back, which is pretty cool. And so the, the five-in-one, the only thing that it doesn't have is that I seen was the bottle opener. And I've only used this a couple of times um, Typically, I use this, I carry this when I'm working, um, and I've had this one for quite a while. I've had several of these, um, and the one other major difference is I'll have to get a weight. Uh, when, I, when I get uh, close to a scale, I'll get a weight, but this one is noticeably heavier than the Milwaukee Fastback. Uh, not a lot heavier, but it is noticeable, um, the difference between the two. So I'll get, a, I'll get an actual weight on this for you uh, and add it to the video footage. So this is the Tough Built 5-in-1, Electrician's 5-in-1 is what they're calling it. Just came out and should be available in stores this week, or if not, uh, possibly next week. Uh, they're selling it on uh, Lowe's, uh, Lowe's.com and then in Lowe's stores as well. So try to look for it there. Lowe's.com next week, I believe. So uh, anyway, this uh, I wanted to show you that, get this out to you as soon as I could. Uh, kind of a comparison between the Milwaukee Fastback and uh, the 5-in-1. The this is a 6-in-1 and this one's a 5-in-1. Uh, still a great tool. A um, little beefier. You can see how much thicker it is. Um, I usually just hang this on my pocket uh, and uh, does not come with a sheath or anything like that. But um, Great tool. 
uh, really like the part that that you can actually pop out the screwdriver and it is double sided so you have a Phillips on this side as well and then you have a quarter inch nut driver with these and and I usually carry one of these in my pocket so I can uh, quickly do a uh, take off a panel on an AC unit or something like that uh, I always carry one of these with me and I, I did the same thing uh, with the Milwaukee Fastback. I always just kind of stuck it in there. And uh, one thing I do like about this, you see the difference in the, the screwdriver bits. Um, they're a lot bigger on the on the tough belt. So, but like I said, I used to kind of do uh, use that. And now I can do that with the tough belt one. I'll try to get you a price. And if you're uh, if you're getting good value on my channel, I appreciate you go down here hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you get notified when I post a new video or go live. And this is Tim and Air, two man back at you.